Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. And you might notice something kind of different about this video. Maybe the location, the room I'm in, and maybe there's somebody sitting next to me here. This is Richard James, the Bald Shredder. Sir, good to see you. Yes, hey, thanks for coming to my place this time. No problem, no problem at all. Thanks for the invite. And uh, this is gonna be a really fun video because we're going to compare shred guitars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna check out uh, a few of my favorites and a few of uh, Max's favorites that he brought over for us to check out today. So this is really exciting. Yeah, so I think we've got what, like three guitars each. Yep. Right? And uh, we're both, uh, you could say we're shredders, I think, is a safe uh, yeah. label. And a uh, cool shirt, by the way, with uh, Sir Guitars a lot on there. Yeah, so, um, you know, we'll, we'll get right into this. This is a super cool guitar. But uh, before we do that, real quick, if you guys enjoy videos like this, checking out cool guitars, affordable or not, and also staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe, and you have not already subscribed to my channel or to the Bald Shredders channel, please consider subscribing right now. And of course, look for the link for his channel down in the video description below. But yeah, tell us about this guitar, because I mean, I look at this and I think Racer X. Okay, well, you would be correct. This is a, a, re a Racer X kind of a replica guitar. It's not an exact replica. So this comes from my love of Racer X, which was both Paul Gilbert and Bruce Boyer. And I'm a huge fan of both of those guys. Now you might notice this one is orange, not pink like the Paul Gilbert one because Bruce Boyer had an orange one. Um, I don't know if everybody knows that because on the um, album cover and then the, there was a poster in one of the guitar magazines where he had a green one and the neck was broken off. So I think a lot of people mm -hmm. knew that he had a green one. But then after that, he had an orange one which he continued to play in Racer X after Paul was um, actually out of the band. Mm -hmm. And I moved to LA in the fall of 1989 and I had a chance to see them play at the Troubadour and I think also the Roxy. Like right after I moved here, they played at the Roxy and he was playing that orange one. Of course, his was a little bit different. His was a set neck, had the Kayla on it, but I always loved that guitar. I loved the orange color. And then when I started getting into the uh, AliExpress guitars and getting some guitars made there, that was like, I have to have one of those made and a big difference between his and then this one, this is a, a bolt-on neck mm -hmm. uh, instead of the set neck, and then it just has a simple hardtail bridge instead of the Kaler, of course. Right, and we were talking about this earlier, but the interesting thing about this, right, is it was never an actual production Ibanez guitar, right? They only right. made these for the, the guys in the band, basically. Yeah, they only made them for Paul and Bruce from Racer X because it was actually the, the body design is from an old Epiphone uh, design guitar, which Paul Gilbert loved. He was playing those before he was even playing his Ibanez guitars and he would put Kalers on them and then he got his Ibanez deal and he had Ibanez uh, make him and Bruce some guitars like that. But I don't think Ibanez was able to mm -hmm. produce those guitars uh, because of the, the copyright on the shape. I mean, most people that watch our channels already know about AliExpress and so forth, but you can not just get off-the-shelf copy guitars on there, but you can get them to custom make stuff for you. Yeah, absolutely. And Th this was not a guitar that was right. advertised that he'd never even made this guitar before and I had to provide him with a, a whole bunch of pictures and the specs and tell him exactly how I wanted it and it was I had pictures of Bruce's actual orange guitar that I'd found online um, I think a guy that ended up with the guitar, maybe Bruce sold it to him at some point, and uh, I found some pictures of him with the guitar, and I sent those pictures to the AliExpress guy and said, and that's, I want that, like that. And you mailed the frets over there, right? Yes, right? yes, anybody yeah. that watches my channel, you know me, I'm always going on about like the extra jumbo frets, the Dunlop 6100, and I, I gave them the measurements on the fret, you know, like how wide they needed to be, how tall, and he just, just, they just don't have those frets, or he didn't, and he couldn't find them. And he's like, well, we have some that are like almost the same. And I said, well, no, if I'm gonna have this guitar made, I want it to be as best as it can be for my preferences. So I got a pack of the frets, they weren't that expensive, put them in like a padded envelope and just mailed it to the guy in China and he got it and he used them on the net. Yeah, 
And I think my favorite part of this guitar is if you maybe are trapped on the side of the road, like your car breaks down at night, people can see this guitar. You can just hold this out on the street and they'll it, be able to find you. It might glow in the dark. <laughs> yeah, it might. Let me, uh, you know, jam on it a little bit here. Okay, and, yeah, uh, check we'll it out. See stuff. what you think. Yeah. Yeah, very, um, you know, yeah, C shape, right? Like a yeah, thin, a thin yeah, C shape, thin. not much shoulder here, but um, a very light satin finish on the back yes. of the neck. No high gloss. No high gloss. Not. Yeah, that makes a big difference. The headstock has the angle to it. Is that how it originally was? It was not on the original okay. guitars. Like on those old Ibanez guitars from the '80s, they had the straight headstocks. Okay. Um, and then string trees, maybe, or a retain. Yeah. Well. Remember, they had Kaler bridges, so uh, they had that Kaler locking uh, uh, right. on there. So I'm not sure if they had, they wouldn't have needed them, but maybe yeah, they yeah. had the string shoes. I don't remember. Um, and it's funny because when I ordered the guitar, that's that's actually something I didn't specify. I didn't say put the neck, the headstock back like that. Um, but that's just probably the way he normally does, like the Ibanez copies when he does them now. And, and that's it just ended up that way. Right on. Cool. Right on. Well, uh, do you want to check out one of the guitars that I brought? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I think going with the bright colors theme, maybe that one right there would be a good choice. Mmm, this would be the HM Strat. So, uh, what color, first of all, do you prefer? <laughs> orange. Orange? Be orange, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, all right. Yeah. The, or the orange is good. I'll go with that. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you don't like Floyds. Not really. Not They're okay. okay. I mean, I, I, I say that over and over on my channel, but kind of, it's somewhat true, but also somewhat in jest. Okay, okay. If you're forced to play a Floyd Rose Bridge, it's not going to like... Totally I can adapt. Can I adapt. can do it, yeah. Just yeah. Not, your, not your favorite, right? Yeah. Okay, and then, um, like me, I think you don't like middle pickups, right? No, and I think it's the same reason, because yeah. when I'm picking, if, yeah. it's, if the pickup is up, I have a tendency to like bump into it with yes, my pick. So. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I, this one like I, I there was like a spacer in there or something, and I took that out and ran it all the way as low yeah, as I could get it. All the way flat to the body. Yeah. So at least it's it's not in the way. And then I have the dual rail in the neck position. You swapped that out, right? I for, did from the original pickup. Right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, but I think I mean I I think you'll like the neck, right? It's got the satin finish on there. Pretty yeah. flat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, big frets. Yeah, I like big frets. And well, I cannot lie, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's check it out. Use the Floyd. You don't you don't want this guitar anymore, right? No, I'm not really. Not, yeah. After hearing that, I'm basically going to get rid of it. <laughs> he might not be going home with this. That yeah. guitar has not been loyal to me at this point. I think. Mm, cool. Yeah, because it doesn't sound like that when I play it. <laughs> So I mean, how do you, like the neck? How do you how do you like the neck? Um, so very comfortable. I, I would say this is a pretty similar neck profile to the custom guitars that I make for myself. And on like three of those, I've gotten necks from Warmoth. And anytime I get a neck from Warmoth, I always order their standard thin C shape, and it's about the same size as this one. 
and these frets are pretty big. Um, I'm guessing they're pretty close, if not the mm -hmm. exact same size as the 6100 frets that I have on a lot of my guitars. So it's almost like this guitar was made for me, <laughs> other than the Floyd Rose. But you see, I still played okay with the Floyd Rose. <laughs> yeah. Well, so speaking of the Wormoth necks, yeah. uh, you've got a guitar here, right? Or a few of them. Yeah. Uh, that one, I think, right? Has yeah. that neck? Yep. Yeah. Should we Crocodile. check that out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's check out the crocodile. 